Well, today is the day that we do the dual six core CPU upgrade on our X server. Let's go. Anyway, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to part three of the Ultimate X Serve upgrade video. In today's video, we will be upgrading the XServe once again to a 5,1 Mac Pro so we can install six core CPUs into it. And in today's video, uh, we are going to do just that. Uh, right now, I have one of my X5680 uh, CPUs in my hand. We're not going to be using this because I can't find the other one. I don't know where it is. So we will still be using the CPUs. They're on GT's old board right here. These are X5675s, which are, I think, 3.06 gigahertz. Uh, and they are both six cores. So we'll be doing that. But before we do that, we need to flash this thing. And I've decided, why not just flash it right now? Schrauber, um, Vimsy from uh, one of my supporters, uh, told me I've been saying Schrauber wrong. Again, <laughs> sorry Schrauber. Schrauber sent me a new um, bin file and we're going to try to actually flash it on right now and see if it works. So let's do it. We can actually use his tool this time. It's not giving a CRC32 error because he double checked it this time. He doesn't know how he missed it last time, and that's fine. I mean, it still worked. Uh, it shouldn't have, but it did, luckily. So um, we're flashing right now. Let's see what happens. Doesn't make you nervous at all, just waiting. Flashing was done successfully, and the ROM was verified. Okay. It has been flashed. Hit OK. Quit that. Close that. Close that. Shut down. Enter. Let this thing shut off and we'll start it back up and see what happens. Oh, please work. Yeah! We're flashed. Thank you, Schrauber. This is perfect. Uh, let's make sure. It's showing the right amount of RAM slots again. That's working. And if I go to System Report, we have a Mac Pro 5.1. We're flashed. Let's upgrade these CPUs. All right, so here's the goal here. We're going to swap the CPUs out of this into this and this into this so I still have a working Mac Pro if I need it. Um, also, shout out to my buddy Corey for making this tool because I've lost my key handle um, and we could not find a three millimeter anywhere. So he made one and it works. So let's uh, swap all this out. Oh, that one fell right out and into the socket. That's that's not good. Yeah. It looks okay. All right. There's the old CPU for that one. And there's the other CPU. Now what I'm going to do is clean these up and we'll set them back in. I'm going to put this back together because this isn't part of the video and uh, we'll be good. All right, so here's the original CPU versus the new hotness. Um, they look similar, but um, I think this die is wider, which is the extra two cores. Oh no, pretty cool. I forgot to mention, GT also deleted these himself uh, in this live stream up here. If you want to check it out, I think it's still up. If not, there won't be a link there, but I think there is still one. So if you want to check it out, you can. 
All right, we got the board back together in GT's old Mac Pro, and now we're going to upgrade the six core CPUs. <laughs> And we are upgraded. Now we just have to slap the cover back on it and do three PRAM resets or NVRAM resets uh, to make it recognize the, C the uh, RAM speeds. Um, and in theory, that should be all we need to do. So let's get it back together. Well, I have lost my glasses and I don't know where I put them, but uh, oh well. Here's the first power on. We're going to do a uh, an NVRAM reset three times, back to back to back, and it should um, enable 1333 RAM. Where are my glasses? Eh, well, I'll, I'll find them. All right, here's the moment of truth. What power on? It powers on. Let's see what happens. Two times six core, 1333 megahertz. We did it. <laughs> it's a little loud though. Let's see here. Uh, it's probably recalibrating. Yeah, seems to be working. Uh, six core Intel Xeon, 3.06 gigahertz, two CPUs, 48 gigs of RAM. It's seeing all the RAM and they're grouped together properly now. So uh, we are in triple channel. All right, so let's boot this into Windows and see exactly how big the performance difference is. And we are in Windows and it sees all the cores. This is a very good sign. And look, they're turbo, turbo boosting too. That's cool. So, oh, this thing runs so much faster now. Okay, I take that back. Please open Geekbench. Uh, it's got the wrong time on it, so the test won't work. I'll be right back. Okay, let's run the CPU benchmark. We'll be back when it's done. Look who just popped into my lap. <laughs> Girl, you just canceled it. Oh, Coco. Well, the Mac dog didn't want to see the benchmark results. Thank you, sweetheart. Ah! Now Mac Dog 2 is in my lap. Don't cancel it, please. <laughs> ah! Indy cute. You're trying to cancel it too. Stop pushing the keyboard. I don't know if he's in frame or not. <laughs> Hi, Rico. Now I've got three dogs in my lap. Okay, guys, you, you need to cut it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, okay, cut it out. Stop it. Yep, I love you too. Can you please go that way? Go that way. <laughs> nope, go that way. Here. <laughs> okay, yep, down, get down. Yeah. All right. Really? Hi, Rico. Here's Mac Dog Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
All right, so here are the results from the original CPUs that were in the board versus the new CPUs. Look at that, 115% faster, 137% faster, but that's not the big difference, and I'll show you the big difference in a second. But let's see these results here, maybe. Why, why, why? Um. Huh, I think it froze. It didn't freeze, it won't let me click and drag it very well. I don't know why, but I can do this. Okay, I just still not, what, what is it doing? Well, that's weird. Anyway, you get a general idea that everything is faster on here, which is cool. It's a big difference. And if we look at, oops, it's really hard to do this when it, please just scroll down a little, a little bit, a little bit, go down a little bit. I hate Microsoft Edge with a passion. Anyway, you get the general idea. I'll be right back. Okay, I actually had to pull the mouse out with a scroll wheel so I could actually scroll it. So you could see this and the differences. Um, now it's actually identifying it as a 5520 on both of them. Go, go figure. Um, that might be the reason why the other board didn't work right. Uh, that might be the CRC32 uh, error, actually, that, where it was identifying it as X58, but we'll get back to that. But as we can see, here's the big difference so far. Big, huge difference. So, that's neat. Um, we went two processors, two processors, eight cores, eight core, um, 12 cores, 24 threads, 16 threads. Big difference. But here's the huge difference. The original board versus the new board and new CPUs. Original board, new board. 336, 516, 153.6% more. 1198 versus 3743, 312.4% more. Huge difference. If we scroll down, if we scroll down, okay, even this mouse isn't working now. I hate Microsoft Edge. There we go. Go go back up. Go back up. Please go up. Go up. Go up. Go, go down. Go down. No, go up. <laughs> you. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Now we got it going here. Um, here's the original board. Here's the new board. Um, you know, here's the cache, all that stuff. It's got more L3 cache. And like I said, it's identifying as an X58, which is weird. But yeah, that's a huge difference. I mean, this result proves that this was worth the upgrade alone because look at that this is going to have proper server processing power and i'm excited about that so let's wrap up the video before we wrap up the video i wanted to go into uh, device manager one more time just to make sure and yes the ipmi stuff from the last episode isn't here so I don't know what that is. I think it's some kind of power management thing. I didn't look it up. I don't really care. But this is basically a 5.1 Pro. It's awesome. Now let's wrap up the video. So yeah, 12 threads, 24 cores. This thing's upgraded now. Uh, this is the ultimate server you could have built around 2010. Um, thank you very much, Schrauber, for... Um, coming up with uh, this flash here and pushing it out as fast as you could. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, VMC, for actually teaching me how to pronounce Schrauber. Um, but yeah, it's 
I'm looking forward to what's coming up next. What's coming up next is we'll be playing around with the operating systems. I've got a few ideas for this thing, uh, for part four. Uh, like, um, I need to put a fiber card in it for my Xserve RAID. And I'm also thinking of putting an NVMe in it, so I need to get an adapter, and I need to get an NV NVMe drive for it. So we can boot off of that, and then we'll have two drives in here. Um, I don't know how well that will work, but we'll see. Um, it's possible now that we have it flashed to a 5, comma, 1, 144. Awesome. So uh, that's a plan. Um, I don't know. I might do some other things with it. I was thinking of putting another drive in it, but um, those trays, are, they're hard to get a hold of. They're not cheap, and you just, it's kind of a crapshoot. You get lucky or you don't. Um, from what I understand, uh, the one terabyte drives all come with SAS trays, and SAS trays are what you need when you flash this thing, because apparently SATA trays don't work properly. They might not work at all. Um, I don't have one to test it. So um, it was lucky that one tray was a SAS tray. But yeah, I'm looking forward to what's coming soon. Uh, I hope you are too. Uh, by the time uh, part uh, two releases in a few days, by the time this releases um, the next week, uh, I should have all the parts out and I should have it together, but uh, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. We'll see. But coming up soon for part four, we'll be testing all the OSs at least. And there might be a part five where I actually try to make the XR braid work. I don't know. But I'm going to take this next door now and uh, start setting up OSs on it. The thing is, if I'm waiting on an NVMe drive, that might, might be pointless. Um, I do have an adapter, though, so I could do that. I don't have another NVMe, though. So that's a thought. I don't know yet. But uh, I'm going to play around with this thing, enjoy it some, and um, then we're going to set it up as the server it needed to be in the first place. So that's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this mini-series and uh, the more to come for part four. I'm excited for it. I hope you are, too. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have uh, memberships and also Patreon and buy me a coffee. Please support me if you can. And that's the end of today's video. This has been a Mods video.